learning new information about a frightening fall in Brooklyn. An 11 year old boy tumbled through an emergency subway grate at a playground. And the boy escaped serious injury, fortunately, but now neighbors tell us people trying to get into the subway likely remove the protection around that grate. I want to see reporter Diana Rocco is on the east side with the very latest Diana. Liz and David, neighbors in Bushwick are very concerned that vagrants in the area continue to vandalize that subway grate, making it unsafe for children. Meanwhile, 11 year old Jaden Cardoso's parents have been by his bedside here at Bellevue for the last two days. This afternoon, they are very thankful their son is alive, but say he has a long road to recovery ahead. I just want to see my baby brother. From his hospital bed at Bellevue, 11 year old Jaden Cardoso is talking about the frightening fall he took Wednesday night at Rudd Park in Bushwick. He just keeps apologizing. He's a, he keeps apologizing. Jaden was playing with a group of children when he was able to get through a broken chain link fence blocking off subway grates. One of the grates was missing and Jaden fell into the underground tunnel, narrowly missing the tracks. With the help of family and friends, Jaden's dad was able to go down after him. They opened one of the grates and I was able to go down there. I picked them up and when I noticed there was like two more people there right next to me. You know, and thanks to them, thanks to the help, I was able to get him out. Yeah. He was just crying in pain, and like, yeah. just you see it, you see it in his face. The parks department has since repaired and secured the broken fence, but a neighbor tells Eyewitness News she first noticed a missing grate there a month ago and called police, who moved it back, then put in an order to have the fence fixed, but not soon enough. And now neighbors fear it will happen again, since they say vagrants in the area have been cutting the fence and moving the grate to get onto the subway tracks. Now Jaden's dad fears it could be another family's nightmare waiting to happen. No parents to see their son go through that. It's tough. And Jaden has a broken pelvis and wrist. He is being held here at Bellevue for observation. His dad tells us he is very eager to get home to see his two younger siblings. They are just not sure when that will be. We're